Okay, so my feeder is still broken. It thinks it's still trying to feed. But, 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 but. You'll notice that there are now some little thin things that resemble these ones over top of the airlocks. They're maybe a little bit janky right now, but they do the job, so they're highly functional. And we've got a little roof over the gun, so there are no guns exposed. If you think about it, it's not very, like, sleek, so it's probably going to give off a really bad sonar signal. But if we unlock, so that thing slides back, and then the gun comes up, and we can go nuts. I still haven't done my reset on this, so you have to manually line it up. And then we flip the switch again, goes down, and we close. And it locks into place, so that's all locked. It's locked open and it's locked closed, so there shouldn't be any silly business going on there. It's also using two sets of tracks, electric linear tracks for the Fords for the for all the motion, and then gripper tracks to keep it on the right plane. I added this little panel here so that I can turn the brakes and the release signal on this lift. So if it's up there, if you're for some reason you're unloading a torpedo, you can release it. Except the button doesn't work now. Um, I also had a little bit of a play in here so there's now a little little thing up here this is kind of all i want it to look like if you put a gas filter this way i have been told that water can still get into here or maybe not that water can get into there if it's up like this water can fill this top one and it can then be blocking like the whole thing can be blocking air from getting through into the filter I don't know if that's the case with this specific one, but just to be safe, I've put it sideways. So as the ship accelerates, it'll get sucked out, like any water will get sucked out. Um, and it'll just fall out if it's sideways. And then this pipe goes down into the wall. Uh, I don't think I connected it actually. Did I? No, I didn't connect it. I'll connect it right now. All right, so air comes in, goes down through the roof, and then out into these two pumps and these pumps pressurize these air tanks whenever we're on the surface these air tanks can go up to 50 atmospheres so that's what they're set to automatically pressurize to and then they are both connected down into the wall and into the three diving gears that we have available and we've also got spear guns and lots of spear gun ammo so there should be you know heaps of air and then on the little panel here, we've got a little depth gauge so we know how deep we are, an override, and then the pressure of both tanks. So you shouldn't have to ever use that, but I don't know, there might be a situation where... I can't think of any situation actually. Oh, there might be one very specific situation where only this fluid meter has been damaged therefore the automatic system doesn't know what number like doesn't know how what the altitude is in which case you would be able to like look outside and say oh yes we're on top of the water flip the switch and it'll work now what i want to do is work on this oh yeah i, I transferred the gun over from this side but i didn't put the wall in so the wall needs to go up against the hard points like this so I want to turn all this space into the living quarters and I guess I'll have to turn it into an infirmary as well. But to do that, I need the torpedo. Unless, unless I only have one torpedo. Huh? That would be extremely lazy and it would unbalance the thing the whole submarine thing completely but it would give me more space for activities should i do that actually i i mean i don't mind asymmetrical stuff at all if you know me i'm a big fan of asymmetry so perhaps i should do that why do, why would you need more than nine torpedoes although i've been told 
we've had discussions about this where modern submarines have like 40 or something torpedoes and they're like massive then this is just we're on baby scale at the moment i am kind of feeling like it would be more interesting to not have torpedoes on both sides and i'm also feeling lazy and i don't want to do all this again and that would let me have an infirmary a whole separate infirmary let's do that and be lazy perfect everybody wins oh i could just completely smooth off this side as well get rid of the tube i could put a gun down here actually like an underwater gun because i think there will be a time uh where kraken underwater or a meg probably more likely a kraken and you want to shoot it and you can't get an angle on it so having a gun under here might actually make a lot of sense but there are still some areas where it's like things are too low like under here you just won't be able to get anything so it seems like downstairs I've uh, done things very differently than upstairs in terms of like roof height. Yeah, I've just gone for like eight high. Eh, that's okay. It's eight high everywhere, isn't it? This is eight. This is seven. This is eight. So everywhere is eight except for. Huh. How did this happen? Everything's eight except for this bit of the torpedo room because it's like an elevator this hallway is eight this is probably eight okay only the bridge is nine it might even be ten the bridge is nine everywhere else is eight this is eight god damn it how badly do you think this thing will roll if i go real hard into the asymmetry because see all this white floor technically doesn't need to be here and like none of this needs to be here you know what is this nothing so i think like where i've lost my under here where it's just like a, a weird space that would be perfect to put um my power source which is probably we're gonna try nuclear and if nuclear doesn't work we're gonna go electric so we have backup plans i guess i'll restore all of this so yeah do i just trim this off because this is all excess oh what wait a minute it's only this piece oh that's real weird hmm, okay It's only that little bit over there where the torpedoes actually come down in the lift. Those lights are going to be okay. This room here is going to be either infirmary or sleeping. I would like sleeping to be this section though because I feel like it's kind of small enough that it makes sense to just chuck a bunch of beds in here. And then this is where you can put in a proper sleeping area and then under here i guess we can do some steam generation which could also go at the back of this section anyway let's get this done so for sleeping arrangements i just want this just well i want a version of this this is such a very submarine-y style. I mean, not that I would know, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm probably not going to need that door anyway, but who knows? You never know. And I just want to change these HUDs, I think. We've got one down there, which you probably can't access. One equipment slot. Oh, but the light? Huh. um it's not connected to anything so it's going 
no more light. Oh yeah, I'll put the light in here. Oh, everyone's got a reading light, everyone's got a bed, everyone's got two equipment slots and a arctic clothing. And now I'll just try and shove it in, shove it in that gap. That might actually just go in. Uh, we'd, be, we'd be losing a bed, I think. We'd be losing this top bed. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. And then this wall needs to move because, yeah, we now moved across a little bit. Get rid of that, get rid of those, get rid of this, get rid of that. Pop, 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 pop. And then the bed that's getting chopped a little bit, we're just going to take this whole bunk and shift it back. Um, I need to leave the door, the painted door, but I need to pull the thing along. Please fit. Oh no. One, two, three, four. Ah, it might not fit. What are those? Oh no. It's real close. He just loses his equipment slot. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have six seats. Should I just get rid of some of the beds? It's also kind of weird that this bunk is like directly in line with the door. I think a better option would be to like put in a a uh, wedge wall. Probably only needs to be a two. Yeah, it only needs to be a two. So now everyone's kind of got their own space, and then in here we can put a little little seat which can be like the one in the galley it's on here is that like defeat the purpose defeat the point of doing the the curved the angled wall you just go like this and then That's probably okay, isn't it? And then I could copy this painted texture onto this wall as well and get another another locker. And then I need a table, so I guess, what is this, five? Do I just do three by three HUD? Actually, there is a three by three HUD, isn't there? Oh, too big. Only a little baby one will work. The main difference with this one is that I probably won't be able to get many invisible blocks into here. So the HUD was on the same level that the seats occupy, which is there. And I need to go mostly into the wall for this one. I've stretched it so it's a 3x5, or it's a it's a three by four, so it's clipped into the wall a little bit, but then it means it covers up most of the space. Maybe I should have just done a three by five. And then it means that this bit would be clipped really far into the wall and you'd actually get it coming through the other side, which probably isn't too bad. I don't know, I'll leave it like that. Then you know, I've got sleeping for six crew, and then this needs to become an infirmary. Very big infirmary, I have to say. like the dungeon it would make more sense to just move the wall the sub is such a mess with like walls unnecessary walls going everywhere 
What is this? This is why the physics thing is having a stroke. What's weird is on this side, I've dropped it down to a 1x2 at the very bottom, so it can accommodate the weird shape of the uh, torpedo hatch, and on this side it's just like smooth the whole way through. I might try and um, smooth off some of these internal sections, see if I can reclaim some of the physics. It'd be like, especially in the front, I think what you can do is, like it's better to wall things off, I think. Like if I just do this, where the wedge changes, and then put a flutter inside this, it'll only flood this first middle area. So let's... Okay, so I've put a wall in there, but it's hollow. This is the current physics shape. Everywhere there's a wedge, and for some reason there's a like a triangularly cut out thing. And we just want to blob that and to see that big green wall in there, we want to make that whole front section a big green blob. I am gonna put the microcontrollers in there though, but I don't think I need that much space. We're gonna say that is gonna be server room. Is that really what I want to do? I might as well, really, because otherwise, you know, if I, I've got to put it somewhere. So what I'm doing here is I'm allocating like the wall, the interior part of the wall with microcontrollers. So anything behind this, I'm going to try and remove. All right, so you'll be able to put a microcontroller in there. I will fill up some of these spots. And then I'll put a roof on it. Microcontroller server room. We might end up with multiple server rooms, but at least trying to allocate some of the more square space for that kind of nonsense. It's gonna be useful. All right, and so this, I'm going to put a flutter in here let's see the difference oh Ooh. just three big pieces and that's not even we can yes we can get more more well give me less give me less physics bodies physics shapes physics whatever's so yeah cutting them up into bigger segments is really the way to do it um so I think if we cut through here, this goes all the way around. I don't know if doing it through here is gonna help too much. If we left those together, I'm sure they would not form good shape. So now we've got some funny shapes, but the, the walls are mostly on right so this is the inside of the room this is the inside of that red bit and then the yellow bit goes all the way around so yeah there's still some funny pieces so i reckon if i go along the inside i mean i don't know if i can just flood this or if i have to do something more specific i don't know what's here and why this is filled in nothing what what is all this? We will wall off that room and it might make sense to put a little hatch up to here actually. I can tell you though that's going to be a pain in the ass to get into. But at least that gives you the option to get in there. And also gives you the option to flood the cargo hold from these hatches up there. So yeah, I need to be careful about what I do around these pivots. Let's 
go from here. This looks like another section. Yeah, before it like flattens out, we'll wall that off. Is that what this piece is? I think it is, eh? So essentially I need to come along above those pivots. Yeah, it's gonna be really different on both sides here. So on this one, um, like there's, uh, I need, I need, I need, I need, I just need this. I don't know if I should just wall this off and then use this for any boilers, heaters, whatever, and then maybe chuck a flutter in here and see if that will help this. But it's such a weird shape, I don't think it's going to be happy about it. Oh, look at that. So we're not really gaining anything back on the floor, which is weird. Um, and this side's all messed up because it's got a torpedo tube in it. A lot of it's to do with like these internal pieces. If you were to, um, if you were to take these wedges and smooth them off, smooth them all off, you'll get a much better result. I think that even applies to if you're flooding it, so I'll try that. Uh, we want to use as few blocks as possible. But where we can make like a big solid blob, that's when you want to do that. So before that one had all little copy segments on the bottom. Yeah, it's still, it's still kind of like that. I don't think much really changed doing that. It's still a lot less than what it had before though. So, progress. I don't know how we can fix the back necessarily. If it can be made of like these bigger chunks, the more of those I get instead of all this, the better it's gonna be. We'll finish this infirmary. So what I was thinking, I wanna grab more of these seats. I really like these seats. So we've got four beds and then I just want a, I just want a, a little assortment of these seats. Okay, yeah, and I think I'll just chuck a wall in there. Chuck a wall in there. And I could put a door through there to whatever is in the back. I feel like I'm being really lazy because everything's going very quickly and I don't know if it's just because I'm making decisions faster or if I am just actually being lazy. So we can take, what is this, eight? Eight passengers plus four, we can take 12 passengers and we can sleep six crew, we have six stations here. We have eight people who can eat at the dining table. It's not a rescue sub per se, so I think that makes sense. This is a a support vehicle. It will have a permanent crew who is out and about supporting all the other ships. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Where's the button? Yes. Oh jeez.